Hello, in this tutorial, what I'm going to show you how to do is create uh, or set up the simple uh, scene reflections uh, used inside Unreal. Generally, by default, when you create a new um, project, looks very much like this. You'll get uh, this reflection capture in it, but I'm showing you just in case you've deleted it or you've started from an empty, completely empty project um, and you don't know how to get them uh, working. So what we've got here is we've got a cube here that's got my metal material on. As you can see in the metal material here, it's reflecting everything that's captured in the back here is actually being seen in here. So obviously we want this um, ref obviously these reflections to appear in this scene show showing the sky. Um, as you can see here it's showing the bottom uh, sort of a floor grid thing um, in the reflection but nothing else. It's not showing any of the sky. So what we want to do is in our modes is go to visual effects and drag in the sphere reflection at capture. Now there's three types here. We've got sphere, box, planar. Planar I'll do a separate tutorial for because it's, from what I understand, when you do it, it's very intensive. You have to turn certain things on in the project settings and it's it's more used for, say, like a mirror, where, but like a real-time mirror. Um, you know, if you wanted to show show this a copy of the scene, essentially, um, obviously, as you can imagine, it's very intensive. I'm sure with as hardware gets better, etc., it won't become a problem. But it's one of those things that you tend to stay away from unless you're doing something, something like archive, visual, uh, architectural visualization or something like that. So we're just going to be focusing on the sphere and the box. So generally, I use the sphere capture. What this does is when I drag it in, you'll see straight away we're now seeing the sky. If I delete it, back to black. So what that's doing is it's capturing everything in a sphere. So um. As we move up and down, you can see that it's affecting it. So it's, it's basically everything within this radius and around is being captured in there. You can adjust this as well if you want it to be huge or you know just within this area. You can do that. Um, generally, I set it on three thousand, um, and obviously then you can duplicate it as you need it throughout your scene. Um, so as you can see straight away, that's that's improved that. Um, I say I generally use this because I don't work on stuff that's. We generally don't work with stuff that's interior so I, I kind of need that sort of capturing everything around it so you can imagine if there was a forest here it'd be catching all the trees etc so if from what from what i understand with box reflection is that um it's used for well, essentially something's in a box so if you say say you're working on a, a corridor you know a, a haunted house or something like that you you obviously you just want to light stuff uh, reflect stuff that's in the corridor you don't want to be reflecting stuff that's you know outside in the garden you know when you're not you're not in the garden so uh, what we'll do is we'll delete this um reflection uh, sphere reflection drag in the box so straight away you can see the difference here obviously it's in a box and what we'll do is we'll just change the width of this down to 100 and you'll see what happens so it would say at the moment it's reflecting everything apart from what's at the top and um, because it's cut off so if we move that uh, just put that back just for a second back to what it was and um, you see you've moved that that's what it was before move that up and down same at the bottom you can see it's getting darker and obviously if I change the width of this what it's doing is it's only showing reflections that are within these yellow box this yellow box so if I move that it's still within this yellow box you know so you get the idea there if you're doing a corridor an interior corridor type thing obviously you would only need something like this you wouldn't want to be capturing everything that's unnecessary so that gives you a quick idea of how this works you can go into all sorts of things using post processing to use um screen space reflections and things like that that make they can improve the quality of it obviously at per cost of performance and that um always remember that when you if i do that uh, what we'll do is um Always remember, it says here that you need to build it. You can drop down here, either press build or you can just build the reflection probes, which are here. And, um, you know, that just builds them into a map. You can improve the quality of that as well. If you go to edit, project settings, wait for it to load. And where is it? It's under rendering. So scroll down, rendering. And you'll get here reflection capture resolution 128. Obviously, the more you improve, uh, increase this, the more int uh, intense on performance it is. Always remember to increase by, increase by the power of two, so 128, 256, 512, 1002, 4, etc. Don't put in like, you know, 200. It's got to be exactly as it says, power of two. So if you found this helpful, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like and maybe subscribe. Thanks.